from ToleratedCinematics.com today with our first video from the new tutorial series based on our recently uploaded short film based on Fantastic Beasts. So today we're going to take a look on how to modify a newspaper in Adobe Photoshop and then we're going to import that in After Effects and animate it in the next tutorial. So today is going to be based on how to modify a newspaper. If you don't have a newspaper or you can't take a photograph from one, you can just Google them. So open up Google and then right here just search for newspaper and hit enter. Go to images and then just make sure you go to tools, size, large and use its rights. Um, you can label for reuse and if it's non-commercial, label for non-commercial reuse with modification. And that way you're sure you won't get into trouble. So. I'm going to close this down, I have my image right here and I will just crop it a little bit because you can see the edges right here. I will choose my crop tool and then just click on it, clear it out so we don't have any uh, things inserted here and then I will just drag it like so on top of my newspaper. You can see that my perspective of the newspaper is uh, not even close to perfect. You can see these curves and the lines. For me it's not too important because it can be dynamic for an animation. It doesn't really matter too much. It's going to be a little bit harder to uh, fix new tiles for this, um, but it's all possible. It's going to take more time to actually modify it and make it perfect. So I will double click on my background, click OK and then click on this uh, bin tool so I can delete it. Yes, I just need the newspaper, I will rename it newspaper. OK, so I have my newspaper here and the first thing that I want to do is actually uh, replace this with a new image. So I opened up my image in Photoshop and in a new tab I have it right here. It's just a frame from my short film. Um, yeah, that I will be using in that newspaper. I will right click and convert this to a smart object. That way if we apply any kind of effects to it, it's not going to destruct our image. If we just want to uncheck this, we still will keep our original image at the end. So that's why I like to use smart objects. I will also drag this into our newspaper and just drag it over here. Of course, this is way too big. So the first thing that I will do is hold control, press T on the keyboard for my free transform tool and then just click here, shift and alt and drag it down here. Position it into place, make it a little bit bigger again. Zoom in with alt and scrolling on your mouse here. Drag like so and hit enter once you're satisfied with the size of your image. We'll uncheck it for now and then I will click here on my selection tool here, polygonal to lesser tool. We'll click here and make something like so. make a rough selection okay and then I will click right over here with the layer selected with our photo in I will click here on our mask layer tool and if I check this on you're going to see that now our photo is going to be only in the uh, this area so everything that is white over here is going to be appearing uh, on our shot and everything that's black is going to be deleted but it's not actually deleted it's just uh, covering it up so if you hold alt and click over here you're going to see the color if you click alt here again on the thumbnail uh, you will get your original shot here so this looks kind of uh, good I guess but I will double click here so I open up my layer styles and I will go to stroke and select a stroke color. Just um, pick one of these colors here and I click OK and then just select inside and you can make it a little bit bigger maybe. Click OK and actually the color doesn't match up so I'm going to click stroke again. Oh, uh, Make sure that we have the exact color here. So. Okay, and this one should be fine. Now you can see that it's not perfect, so you could go back in here and hold Control and drag it up a little bit. Control T to free transform it and put it into place. Okay, so this is my image. I will go to my selection tool, click here, and then with the arrows you can um, even modify it a little bit more if you want to. But I think this one looks okay. If you zoom out, we have our image there. Um, it's close to um, being okay. I will click on my image and go to my screen mode and change this to a luminosity. 
and that's going to pick the same kind of colors from my newspaper in a kind of black and white color but it's going to use um, these values right here so it's going to fit in a little bit better now you should have black in the foreground and white in the background so make sure you click on here on this little icon and that will just revert to default colors which are black and white then we're going to filter filter gallery and here we're going to choose sketch halftone pattern i will change my pattern size to one and my contrast will have to look here on something like one as well and click ok and now we have something like this then go back to filter noise and add a little bit of noise we're going to add something like five click ok go back to filter blur gaussian blur maybe something like 0.5 and click ok so it's not as sharp as it's uh, supposed to be an old camera that took this photograph now create a new layer we're going to filter render clouds and here we want to and then we're going to filter pixelate mesotint and choose coarse dots and click OK. Then go to the blending modes and change it to an overlay and hold alt and click here between these layers so it's only on our image here. We're going to lower the opacity to something like 20 or something like 10. And that's going to add these kind of rough grain effects on our image. So now if we're going to select all of these here, so hold shift and select both of these layers and then just hold control and press G on the keyboard to group it, we uncheck it, we have something similar to our original shot. You could go and add some of these arrows. Um, I'm also going to add a little bit more of offset so you can see right here these blacks are not as black as my blacks in here. So how I've done that is just click here and go on my effects presets, go to exposure and just offset a, li a little bit, so something like 0.02. Hold Alt and also click over here so it's only on the image. I'm going to press 01 because it's a little bit too much. We're going to see something like this. And for the gamma correction, you can also drag it up a little bit and lower the exposure maybe a little bit. And now we will get something like this, which will be a little bit closer to what we want for our um, newspaper. So now we have our image in place. Let's say we want a different image. Just double click on my thumbnail and then go to my folder and just drag in a new image. If you hit enter and go back to uh, file, save, go back. To your original shot and it's going to be automatically updated right here so it's easy to change images afterwards as it's a smart object you just double click on the thumbnail and you can then easily change it so that's great now we're going to click on our newspaper and for example take our lasso tool and then i'll go to my pipette tool right here click on the background and then i will just click on a new layer and hold alt and press backspace and that's going to fill it with that color that we just sampled of course you're going to see that it's not as perfect right here so you could go and hold control and click on that image here go back to your pivot tool and click on this color press uh, go to your brush tool right click and make it a little bit smaller hardness zero and that way you can fill in these gaps here a little bit better and uh, do that for all the edges here to make it fit even better Ctrl D to unselect our selection and you can see that it has some noise so we can go and zoom in here and actually duplicate our fractal noise, bring it on top of this layer, hold Alt, be sure to and that it's outside of our folder here, I'm going to close this folder, hold Alt and now it's going to be on top of only that selection and just lower the opacity maybe a little bit less to something like 5 and the, the noise is going to make sure that it's it's going to fit in a little bit better so now we have our background right here without title now we can go to our text tool and click here I wrote my text and I will change it to a black color for now and drag it on top of everything so uh, we have it on top of these layers I'm going to pick my move tool and just put it in position right here. Go back to my text tool, press T on the keyboard to do that. Click three times on your text, so it's going to select everything. Make sure it's centered out and make it a lot smaller, of course. Go back to your position tool and just drag in your layer right here. Press T on the keyboard again, 
click three times and then ch uh, change the font to something that you like. Maybe something like this uh, fits into the mood of this newspaper. It might be a little bit too big, so I'm going to pick my selection tool, Ctrl T, and then just hold Alt and drag it in like so. And we can also drag it up a little bit. So it's going to stretch our text, but for this kind of newspaper, it doesn't really matter as it looks kind of like in that time. So once you're satisfied with your text, you can right click or just duplicate it first. So Ctrl J on the keyboard and check one of these texts and right click on the new text and rasterize this type. The reason why we have done that is because we want to transform it again. So hold Ctrl press T on the keyboard, right click, go to warp and then just drag it in like so. And right over here we can do the same thing. We can play around a little bit with the warp because of course the um, newspaper isn't perfect anymore. So play around with everything and hit enter once you're satisfied and now we have a title like so and if we zoom out it's like it's always been there of course uh the color isn't uh, exactly perfect so i'm going to click on my text and just lower the opacity something like 85 or something like 75 that's going to fit in a little bit better you can see the gray tones are a lot closer to our other titles Click on that layer again, go to filter, blur and also apply a Gaussian blur of something like 0.2 and click OK and that's going to make it a little bit less sharp and make it fit a little bit better into our scene. So that's it basically, um, this is how to change titles, this is how to change images and of course you can go wild with this and change all the text if you want to um, but most of the time you won't be changing the smaller text because nobody is going to read this and uh, just make sure you change the um, bigger titles like uh, tolerated cinematics right here. Uh, for us that was, um, I'm not sure anymore but we change all these big titles to something relevant to our short film. So that's it on how to modify and create your original newspaper in Adobe Photoshop. I think it's pretty cool. If you like this video, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. And then in the next tutorial, we will be seeing on how to animate our newspapers together. So, so until then, take care and goodbye. <laughs>